All right, welcome. This is GitLab Plugin Modernization. It's the 28th of July. So Harsh, if I remember right, that means we've got about two or three weeks left, right? No, no, is it four weeks left? Because it's early September. Mm -hmm. Three weeks, okay, good, great. All right. So topics I had on my list, progress so far and status on interactive testing. Excuse my missing last week for, for family vacation, but I had a great time. Yeah, you what had a great time like? and we also had a great time actually. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, interactive testing that we'll have to do. And like this week, uh, I was kind of busy with uh, shifting of my room. So like mm -hmm. the only thing which I did was I was working on the tests. I'm, I'm still not able to get the milestone two tests working. Like I'm not able to get the design working because due to the GitLab for J's design, I had to implement, I had to re-implement the execute uh, method in the GitLab plugin, which is which has made the testing pretty difficult. Like I'm trying to think for a solution to test it for, I think three, four days, I'm not able to get what to do about it. So yeah, I tried a lot of things, but no, none of them work properly. Other, other than that, I wrote the track, uh, the test for proxy settings. That's the milestone to locally. And like um, the plugin is working without it. I have not really tested it with the Docker thing. Yeah, like the Docker image yet. I'll be testing it afterwards. But yeah, that's what I did this week. So, so you say that you've got automated tests, uh, an automated test for proxy settings. I didn't remember that we had any of those previously. No. No, 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 not the automated test, like the actual GitLab plugin with the proxy setting enabled. Like I wrote the code oh. for the proxy setting, not the oh. automated tests. I see. Okay. All right. So wrote the code for proxy settings. Okay. The production code for proxy settings. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Very good. And the plugin is working without the proxy settings code. Uh, not yet tested with a Docker image. Needs more interactive tests. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I just I just wrote the code just to see that uh, introducing the proxy settings is is it's making the plugin work fine. Like the plugin is not giving me some random errors if I enable proxy settings, and it's not giving me it's working fine. So I'll see like uh, the interactive testing, and I think I I have one test for proxy setting enabled, like the do check connection with proxy setting on is there in the GitLab plugin. Only one test, I think. Oh, good. Okay. I mean, for me, proxy automated testing of proxies is extremely difficult. Uh, there are yeah. so many different ways proxies can be configured, so many different ways they can misbehave. So so I think this one is one we have to agree. I, I think it's perfectly re reasonable for us to agree. Interactive testing is the thing. Okay. A lot of interactive testing is required, like a lot like you can see the list that i've created it's it, it's it's just what came to my mind all the other things can also exist so yeah a lot of testing good all right so and where is that list is that in the pull request uh no it's down like in the action items like 20 oh, oh good July. all right in the that's earlier action 20. items perfect okay so that's that's these tests right here yeah good okay very good all right i'm just going to steal those and copy them up here so that I'm reminded. Great. Perfect. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. Okay. I see it. Great. So yeah, this is how you. Very good. Okay. And now, can I do this? Does Google allow me to change one list in a list? It did. How nice. It, it kind of looks small. The list is, this is quite huge, to be honest. Like, there is also right. going to be intersection between them, like using wild cards with using the push, uh, with using the enabled advanced settings of push events. So there are a lot of mismatches also. A lot of permutations and combinations of these are going to be tested. So yeah, right. Well, at and, least but, a week of interactive testing. And and we knew that that was coming, right? We knew that yeah. this was this was one of the things that this project, when when you originally defined it, and when we worked with Basel to get it worked out, it was interactive testing is a crucial part of this thing 
specifically because of how complicated proxy is. So yeah, that's great that we we acknowledge that and and we do the best we can to get as much of the testing done as we can. And then then there comes a time when we ship the code. Yeah, the production. But like I was doing the interactive testing of the milestone two, and I found a problem in the milestone one. Like that. <laughs> okay, and, and guess what? You found something that another person didn't have to find. So for me, that's yeah. a big win, right? Okay, great. A yeah. problem in milestone one detected by us is much better than somebody else detecting it. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Okay, so extensive interactive testing. I hope to spend some time on it this weekend. Uh, the, is there a specific branch that I should be working or is it the primary branch currently? Like a milestone to work in progress branch. That the draft PR that I made, that branch. Good. Okay, so if I grab, let's let's be sure that I can see it so that I I'm doing the right thing. So here, if we look in the pull requests, Milestone two, right. migrating webhook. This is the one that you're ready for for additional testing on. Yeah, good. This is the interactive testing one. Great. All hey, right. Chris joined. Hi, Chris. Yep, I joined. Hi, guys. Okay, so for the pull request, the milestone two pull request. So Chris, we were just going through going through items for today. Harsh was noting the lots of progress last week, but big bunch of interactive testing needed. And okay. we copied forward the, the ideas from last week of things that need to be done. Okay. Harsh, continue. Anything else that you want to highlight there? Yeah, so the major blocker um, right now are the tests. Like uh, due to the design of GitLab for the the tests are some real blocker. I'm I'm still not able to find a way to uh, to test the webhook actions that I need to test, and it's a problem. Like it it is in a, such a bad situation. Like before the execution of the action starts, I need to test that the action that it is executing is the right one, and those actions are created inside the methods of GitLab for J. So it is pretty difficult to get there. Like I tried to capture the argument. And I also tried some other stuff, but it is not working the way I want it to. So, like so other in tests, this case, uh, like, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. The other tests of these, uh, like the milestone to the patching of the, like patching of the JSON to the events are already completed. So I also, uh, like I pushed those changes, like all those uh, trivial test changes are done. The tests which are not working right now are like, I'm not able to figure out why they're not working. So they are proper blockers. like. Okay, and in terms of value to you, I assume it's more useful to you if I do interactive testing rather than if I try to work on this the automated testing question. Yeah, because interactive of... testing will be much more useful. Okay, great. All right, so agreed that. Good. Thanks. Okay. That way, that way I know where to, where to spend my energy so that I give you the best benefit. Okay. Anything else you wanted to go over with us, Harsh? I think because it's fine. Like the problem which I was having with Milestone 1, I'll, I have, I've always almost fixed, uh, fixed the secret token problem. Like in the code, I'll be pushing it after changing it. So, yeah. Good. Okay. So because the milestone one pull request is, yeah. is it has not yet merged to your primary branch either, right? This one is still yeah. open. I think Basil has not yet reviewed it. I, I think I pinged him on milestone one as well as on milestone two, but he has not reviewed uh, it yet. So. Okay. Yeah. And no problem there. That's this one. I suspect he'll want to see that the tests are either disabled or passing 
they were, I think he accepted that milestone one, we didn't have to have passing tests. Yeah. Uh, I was going to disable it. Yeah. Like the, uh, like Chris was doing the, uh, like doing the code review. So like he, he was going to complete the code review till Sunday. So I was going to like disable it after that. Oh, good. Okay, great. All right. And like uh, Basil has not re yet really seen the milestone two code at all. Like uh, he has three stages of like code review, right? So at least I want the first stage to be completed on the second milestones code research. All right. So code review milestone two is still pending. Good. All right. It's quite dangerous actually because uh, if he if he presents any better solution, then I'll have to re-implement it, which I don't think so. We have time for it left because it's only one month left. So, yeah. Well, and and I think that's okay, right? If if we've done the best we can with what we've got, we've certainly already milestone one is a significant improvement. And and so I think we just keep going forward. I'm not honest, I'm not overly it's, worried it's about actually, that. It's actually quite difficult to present a better solution because GitLab for the to be honest, forces us to use the solution that I've used. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping for a better solution, of course, but yeah. Well, but but one of the arguments for this project was we want to be consistent with the other implementations by using GitLab 4J. And so it's predictable that the other the other plugins are using GitLab 4J probably in the same way you're using it because that's the way it wants to be used, right? Yeah, it has forced me. Good. Okay. Chris, any topics that you wanted to bring or any concerns? Mm, no. Okay. Harsh, anything else then that we need to discuss here? So interactive testing seems like the big thing and your continued exploring to see if you can figure out what to do with regard to test automation and then code review yeah. of milestone two and Ultimately, we want to merge of milestone one to the primary primary project branch, right? Yeah. The project is going quite slow because like a lot of work is pending. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't think that's for a project of this complexity i don't think that's uh, objectionable there are hard things that you're, you're doing you're doing major rewrite right while trying to preserve yeah. functionality and and those two things are sort of in, in exact opposition to each other right we would love to drop functionality if we do major rewrite or not do major rewrite but you're doing both yeah kind of I don't think so anything has happened like two weeks for yeah. This is what happened. This is where we are. Mm -hmm. Anything else that needs help here? Except tests. I don't think so. I'll be requiring any other help. The tests are the main blocker, the automated tests. Okay, good. So automated tests. The biggest challenge development challenge and then interactive tests yeah and interactive yeah. tests are the biggest project challenge if those two are done like the project is complete nothing Sorry, left. like the, say that again if those two are done the project is almost complete because like the, uh, we don't have much uh, proxy setting tests to be adapted and the proxy setting has to be like tested uh, interactively only. And the fifth milestone will be about the documentation. I've already written almost all the documentation that I'll, I'll be making the PR about. So like, yeah, the project is complete if both of these things, both of these blockers are completed. Very good. And and so on the on that documentation, were those things that I added as help entries of any use at all? Yeah, I think so. They should be useful. Good. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, 
any schooling things that we need to worry about any upcoming exams or other vacation time off because we're let's see project schedule let me do a quick check actually let's like my semesters have uh, started but okay. i don't think so it should be that big of a problem like yeah you know, like i'm i'm uh, i just entered the, i just entered my second year so yeah it has started okay so you're already in the new semester yeah okay all right so we've got september 5 is the next is that right we've got oh here we go timeline Final evaluations. Okay, final week of standard coding phase is August 28th. So we're four weeks, four weeks from end from the final from end of, of coding. And then we do a final evaluations in the last week and results are announced on September 5. Good. Okay, so we've got four weeks left, and that's all. Okay. Like we have four weeks out of six weeks. It's not bad. Well, but four weeks is not a lot of time to do, as you said, yeah. if if we had to do some major, if you had to do some major rewrite, it probably won't fit in four weeks. Yeah, that, that, that's the biggest uh, fear that I have, that Basel will introduce something extra. But yeah, ah, code reviews. Great. All right. And, oh, and I have to forewarn, I am August... 14 through 18, Mark is out of office. Uh, another vacation week. Chris, would you be willing to cover for me at the meeting on the 18th or the 19th, whatever the day of the month is? Sure, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. All right, so we've got we've got work ahead of us. Anything else, Harsh? Oh, like I would say, like I think uh, Chris should be helping me with uh, the test. I think he he's more capable to help me with tests right now because like he knows it more. And I think Mark, you should be really like interactively testing it because you actually create some good testing notes that I see that that you uploaded actually on the drive. Yeah, I think we should be distributing our work because like it's a lot of things. Great. All right. Well, and and one that I haven't done much experience, I don't have much experience with that would help me learn um, is, are you okay if I put some a special focus on proxies? Like I've not really uh, pushed the proxy changes because like- Oh, okay. So there's nothing the... to test there. So just test yeah. interactively in general. Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I cannot really push it because like the- I cannot mix the milestone four and the milestone one. <laughs> like Basil will be angry. Uh, uh, correctly so, right? Let's keep it. Let's keep things partitioned. It won't help that much for me. To, there's there's plenty for me to test without looking at proxies. Yeah. Great. All right. Chris, you okay with that as well? Then. Yep. Anything else, Harsh? No. Okay, then let's call it a session for day today. I'll upload the recording in um, twenty four hours or less so that you've got you got it available.